Hello and welcome to lesson number 34 in our current micro series during Covid lockdown number three. Uh, this one is broadcast on the 6th of March 2021 and is pre-recorded because it is covering the date at which I've um, got a vaccination and may have an aching arm, whichever one it is uh, going to be in. So the study we're looking at is for the springing bow on two strings. So we have the springing bow on saying on a single string or crossing over a while and coming back in study number 31. This time we're back and forth. Now generally speaking we're looking at a high upper arm again, especially with string crossing and especially when you combine that with a bounce of the bow. Um, you may find that particular pattern where we've got um, uh, the fun with the last semi quaver at the end there could find that slightly hard if you're playing very quickly. You know, to hear the 4 1, 4 1, 4 1, uh, you could find that a little bit tricky, but it's quite a good idea to try and um, get uh, some a sense of comfort about doing that. Um, I don't recommend you necessarily play at that speed, but that's just giving you an idea about how you might uh, try and progress to feeling comfortable at a fast speed with that slightly odd um, uh, configuration. Other configurations used, variation one, where we have um, two on the D, two on the A. Now that's definitely going to need a flatter bow hair. uncomfortable. Um, another one in there which is the opposite to the one that's printed. Sorry. Now that one's quite a nice one and you may like to start with that one because it gives you a real rooting on the lower pitch on the D string and you can hear the movement. And you'll be able to follow the line through. Um, there are two more configurations in this one. Now that one is much more what one you might expect with the first ones on a low string and three on the upper is more comfortable than the other way round as per variation two. And uh, the final one. Yeah, that one's a little bit more uh, of a challenge to the mind. Get used to it once you've done a couple of turns, like I am trying now. Etc. It's okay. Um, I would recommend, though, with this study, uh, some left hand preparation. So you do double stops. <laughs> on a quick go there. Fourths are hard. So actually in actual fact the little finger really is pushed quite to its limit to get that nicely in tune. Um, so practicing that first would be a good idea and then play the study. Um, 
I covered this one last year in June 2020. So there'll be more details in that. And in terms of thinking about the quicker version, it's something very much you find in the um, concerto repertoire and anything that's sort of um, giving a sparkle and a zip so that we might try a little bit of something faster. <laughs> about this pattern because it's um, quite exhausting and if you find yourself getting aching an arm and tiring take a breath 